The Mongolian National Anthem at Camp Marmol in Mazar-e-Sharif, Afghanistan. It's January 31st, the Lunar New Year, widely celebrated across Asia, and members of this small contingent of Mongolian armed forces based in Afghanistan's regional command north are geared up to celebrate, and they've invited their coalition counterparts to participate. This will be to show our uh, coalition force that our tradition and for them, for us, it's really important to cooperate with coalition force. The Mongolian soldiers invite their coalition counterparts into a yurt, or gur, a type of tent used by nomads. They serve up tea and a traditional lamb dish, all while explaining to their counterparts the importance of the new year. They say that no matter where their soldiers are based, they never miss the celebrations. Everywhere we are uh, going to abroad, we are always celebrating that ceremony. It's a very uh, traditional uh, ceremony and for me it's a third time I'm celebrating the ceremony abroad. The food is followed by the most anticipated event, Mongolian wrestling. <laughs> is festive in color and showmanship. The Mongolian forces are part of a 17-nation coalition operating at a Mazari Sharif in northern Afghanistan. Run by the Germans, it's the most international base in Afghanistan. They're part of the Listen to Sustain program, uh, meaning we equip them, uh, provide them with training, and then uh, in exchange they uh, they serve with us, uh, guard the, the, they guard the uh, perimeter, they guard the ECP, as well as the uh, runways. Historically, this area has always been pro-Afghan government and friendly to coalition forces. At one point held by the Northern Alliance, an ally of the United States, the Taliban have never called this area a stronghold, which in return has made it one of the relatively safest regions for coalition forces operating in Afghanistan. In Mazari Sharif, Afghanistan, for Stars and Stripes, I'm Alex Penna.